Hi. It's Janet. I'm a youth services librarian at the Wilmette Public Library. Welcome to We're Gonna Make It. Simple crafts for complicated times. It seems like all we're doing these days is waiting. I'm waiting for my second vaccination. Maybe you're waiting for your first shot or you're waiting for your immunity to kick in after your second vaccination. If you're a kid, maybe you're waiting to find out when on earth you can get vaccinated. You're waiting for the weather to get warmer. You're waiting for this weird school year to be over. All of us are waiting for this to be over. So how do you deal with all of this waiting without going completely nutty? You can build yourself an hourglass. You can watch the sands flow by as the last months of the pandemic drain away. And you can fill your time with a craft. I'll show you how to make an hourglass with common household items. First, find yourself two bottles. I used glass bottles, but you, you can use sturdy plastic bottles as well. The smaller, the better, I think. Now, don't go raiding other people's recycling bins. We don't do that during a pandemic. Maybe drink the drink yourself and then wash the bottle. You might need to soak the label off in water. After that, make sure you dry the bottles. The bottles need to be completely, completely dry. If they're even the tiniest bit wet, the sand will clump and then it won't flow. Time will get stuck and we don't want that. The next thing you need is some sand. I happen to find some at work, but you might be able to find some in your backyard or in a sandbox at the park, or maybe even at the beach. Just make sure there were no cats around. Salt will also work in a pinch. Now that you've got the two main components of your hourglass, you're ready to get started. First, take one of the bottle caps and poke holes in it. I took a hammer and a nail and poked two holes in it. You might want to get adult help for this part. See? Next, grab a funnel and one of your bottles. If you don't have a funnel, you can use a piece of paper folded like a cone. You might want to do this someplace um, where it's okay to make a mess because I don't want your parents to get mad at you or at me. Next, put the sand in the bottle. Add as much as you want. Maybe even add a little bit of glitter. Sometimes time needs to be a little bit fancier. Okay, now screw on the bottle cap with the holes. Screw it really tight. You don't want sand leaking out. Next, take your second bottle and put it on top of the first bottle and the bottle cap. Take a piece of duct tape and wind it around the second bottle and the bottle cap. When you're fairly sure that it's secure, test your hourglass. Oh great, the sand is flowing. Do you see? If it's not flowing, you might need to go back and do a little bit more adjusting and testing. If 
the sand is flowing, then you're done. So here I am with my homemade hourglass. If you'll notice, I added an extra piece of duct tape to make the connection between the two bottles extra secure. And I also made sure that the sand flows in both directions. So I've been calling this an hourglass, but the truth is I have no idea how long it takes the sand to flow from one bottle to another. Since we've got a lot of waiting to do these days, we can figure out how long it takes the sand to go from one bottle to the other. We can time it, and if we don't like it, we can go back and adjust the amount of sand in the bottle and repeat until you're happy with the way your hourglass works. While we're waiting, we can watch the sand. We can think about the good things we're waiting for. And then we can also think about the fleeting nature of time, the slowness of time, time lost, time regained, the temporality of time, the timeliness of time. Can you keep time in a bottle? Ooh, I'm starting to feel a little angsty. This is not how we're gonna make it. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. Okay, let's focus on drinking a nice bottle of water, gathering some sand, maybe taking a trip to the beach, making a fun craft project. Ponder time, but then fill your time with something active. And that's how we're gonna make it.